6 Precision Forecast Center, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Today was the fifth straight day with below normal high temperatures, and we've got seven more on the way. Here's a look at your temperature trend for the next week. Highs tomorrow will be in the upper 20s. It looks like mid to upper 20s on Sunday, close to freezing on Monday, and then even colder weather moving in for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We'll be running 10 to 15 degrees below normal for this time of year. Our normal high next week climbs up into the 40s. We're going to see highs mainly in the 20s. Right now, we have 20s and 30s across northeast Wisconsin. 27 degrees in Sturgeon Bay. It's 32 in Chilton, 32 in Clintonville, and we've got 30 degrees in Oconto. In Green Bay, right now, it is 32 degrees, but the wind is making it feel colder. We have east winds at around 15 miles per hour. That wind will continue to increase in intensity throughout the evening and nighttime. In Appleton, it is snowing lightly. The temperature is just a little bit warmer, and the winds are a little bit lighter out of the east at 5 to 10. NBC 26 precision radar shows one batch of light snow moving across the area during the morning and early afternoon. The snow was falling with temperatures at or above freezing and that strong March sunshine is able to penetrate the clouds. So that means a lot of the snow melted and compressed as it fell. We're watching another batch of light snow here from Appleton to Fond du Lac to Oshkosh back towards Wapaka and big falls. This will move through during the next hour or so. And then behind that, we've got a bigger batch of snow, steady snow, and it is heavier across central and northern Minnesota. That's going to be sliding across northeast Wisconsin later on tonight into tomorrow morning in response to this Alberta Clipper, which is our main weather maker. And that Alberta Clipper is moving right along the jet stream, and you can clearly Pick out the jet stream, can't you? Look at the high temperature in Kansas City today, 82. Meanwhile, in Fargo, it was 23. That spring and summer-like warmth is going to stay to our south. We're going to get a reinforcing shot of colder air as we move into the final weekend of winter. Temperatures tomorrow will be running about 10 to almost 15 degrees below normal for this time of year. 28 degrees in Loomis. We can expect 30 in Clarks Mills, 28 in Darboy. Look for a high temperature of 31 degrees in Pine River. Precision cast shows some on and off light snow and flurries this evening. And then that bigger batch of snow will move through later on tonight into early tomorrow morning. Maybe some lingering flurries at around 8 o'clock and then we'll see a mixture of clouds and some sunshine by the afternoon. Most of us will pick up another inch or two, maybe three inches here, especially once you get south and west of, let's say, Appleton and Oshkosh. And that's not it for the snow. We've got another system coming in on Monday after a quiet Sunday. It'll produce accumulating snow across Wisconsin, followed by cold weather as we head into the final days of winter. Your forecast for tonight calls for a steady snow to redevelop. It's going to be turning windy. Overnight lows will be in the upper teens. Tomorrow, some lingering flurries. Then sudden clouds as we move into the afternoon. Look for highs in the upper 20s to around 30. For St. Patrick's Day, only mid to upper 20s with mostly sunny skies. Last year we had mostly sunny skies and it was in the 80s. On Monday, accumulating snow developing. Look for a high close to freezing. Windy and colder behind it. A few flurries on Tuesday. Much colder here for the last day of winter or first day of spring, depending on how you want to look at it. The first a full day of spring is next Thursday when morning lows could be below zero across parts of the viewing area. So do you want more snow, Cameron? You know, I love snow. I'll take yes. it any time of year. But, you know, when you start getting into late March, early April, I start thinking about that 82 degrees down yeah. in Kansas City today. I think a lot of us <laughs> had a little spring fever going on. Yep. Well, still ahead live at 6. Nothing says St. Patrick's Day like this classic meal. And today...